Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum, shalom, what's good with it, peace, what's good with it, man, this is your boy Azakar, doing what it do on a rainy Saturday morning in the neck of my woods. So please feel free, you already do, smash that like button, smash that share, hit that subscribe, you feel me, every time I drop them videos, um, YouTube should send them, you know what I'm saying, notifications out, hey, it is what it is, though, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to them boys out there doing that work on the internet, man. You feel me? O'Shea Du Jackson, Kevin Samuels. Oh man, it's so much, it's so much good work out there right about now, man. I mean the West, the Wesley Muhammad's, the Captain Tazariox. You know what I'm saying? Captain Katazai. You know what I'm saying? All that Sinetta. I just love seeing. Brothers out there doing what it do. Hip hop uh, viral news. Uh, hey, they the shit. Uncensored. They the, they the shit. They always get that fly info, man. They the one dropped it when Kobe made here at his passing. <laughs> hey, man. They the one dropped it to me, man. And I had to pass it along. And that was a hard pill to pass. But, man, this lady I, I got right here, man. She always, she been having that flame. Keeping the same format, I'm talking about. <laughs> it's so original, it's so authentic, you know what I'm saying? The one I speak of is the one and only Valerie Denise Jones. <laughs> Yo, she had this video about two weeks ago. Um, concerning the King, Randall, and Rolla Martin. There's two individuals on there themselves. Uh, they were having a moment themselves. So I'm going to play this. So get your coffee, get your Paul Masson, whatever you like to sip on. <laughs> get that Mickey Ficky, because you is about to be entertained. You feel me? So let's go ahead and cook on this. Do, 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 do. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. HBO. Cash out, PayPal. Time. We're going we're gonna to have to get to a point to understand if you are serious about trying to do something for yourself, you're going to have to get off your ass and make some things happen. That's just the bottom line. Uh, because simultaneously, right. simultaneously, this the same individual, if you told him that he was not a man, he'll want to bust a cap in your ass. So mm -hmm. you can't have it both ways. You can't say that you are a man, but resources are around you and you don't want to take advantage of them. And then we want to keep on saying, uh oh, let's do this program. Let's do that program. Let, let's brush their teeth for them. Let's comb their hair for them. At some point, you're going to have to get off your ass and make some things happen. And that's just the bottom line. Man. Well, it's, 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 also, it's also in the thought process. You know, we were talking yesterday on the show, and I talked about natural law. The first law of nature is the law of mentalism. And so it's almost like, you know, like the scripture says in the Bible, I don't mean to preach, but I'm, just, I'm bringing it home. So I'm thinking so it is with him. So I don't care what opportunity it is. It depends on how this person sees things. You have people running around in 2021. If it was 1951, I could maybe understand that. But you have people in 2021 believe that they can't get ahead because of the white man. They can't. They believe they can't get ahead because of racism, white supremacy, and all these things. To me, which is foolishness. And I, and I talked about it again the other day. And I said, I mean, we can all go into all, all of us is on the line. If we walked into a movie theater and we sit down in the movie and we all watch the same movie, we all saw the same thing. And if we come out of that movie and somebody interviewed us and asked us about that movie, each one of us would have something different to say because it is, it is the perception in which you perceive something that you begin to speak. So that's why there's a serious situation in the black community because in 2021, and nobody's taking, taking anything away from the, our people that we've struggled and we went through hell in this country. Nobody's taking that away from, any, from us. But in 2021, if you're telling me you can't get ahead because of the white man, your thinking and your perception has been messed up. 
And this is one of the things that I hated about so many of these uh, black messiahs that come and lecture the country and they come around the country and they stir everybody up with their foolishness. They don't need a resolve. They only stir foolishness up, foolishness up, they get paid and they go on to the next town. And so when you have this, you're stirring up emotions. You're stirring up a bunch of emotions. If I already feel less than, I feel like there's no way out, you know. Now, and high, they always say hindsight is twenty twenty. Now, I'm pretty sure this young man will sit back and thought after he'd have done his deed, he wish he wouldn't have done it because it really wasn't worth it. For whatever reason, whether he felt disrespected, whether he needed that money to pay off something, whatever reason that he made this decision, I'm pretty sure he'd sit back now and realize it wasn't worth what he did. And so that's the problem. Even with us, as we do cross over, some of us cross over, and we figure out we become economically and financially successful. And that was the issue that you know shared that you even witnessed here in Houston with me with the People's Law Study Group. Is is that? It's, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I just wonder about us as a whole because people. What I my 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 concept of that was to give people to to shed light on the judicial system and say, hey. It's not racism that's the reason why we're... Um, maybe not 100%, more like uh, 90. I mean, you go on one of these good old hick towns, you're going to get the benefit of the doubt. And you can be a hard-working motherfucker, license, registration, insurance. You know what I'm saying? Full coverage, speed limit, seat belt, nothing in the car, all that. But you still can be that man to them. You look guilty to them. I mean, not gonna lie, I, 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 I've had some blessings where I, have, you know what I'm saying, court wise, but I also paid court wise too. Even when I call my charge, paid that motherfucker. I mean, it is what it is, man. And, and, and niggas go through shit, ebonically speaking, for those who, black men, uh, Bible speaking Israelites, who was at that slavery, going through society, all 110. It's gonna get still get treated like a three fourth of a human being. You know, I just wish that some of our sisters could feel how we feel inside, like when the police get behind us, or you just get frustrated for just getting fucked with for no reason. But I didn't mean to go outside. Let me let me go and cook on this. We'll let them go and cook because this is finna get nice and juicy. We're 80 or 90 percent uh, incarcerated or in population in prison. It's illiteracy and ignorancy of the legal, the legal system. And so this is the same thing about life. If we're operating uh, half-faked, if we're operating from emotions, and the, the fourth law of nature is the law of opposites, which deals with everything has an opposite. So the opposite of emotions is intellect or your logic. But these things have to be balanced. You cannot be extreme. Extremism causes problems, whether you're extremely emotional or extremely logic. logical. You have to be balanced. And that's the problem. Warren, Warren surely, and, and, and I, I'm going to give you a chance to probably think about what you just said. Surely you're not saying that white supremacy and racism do not exist and are not real, real factors in the progress of the masses of African-American people in this country. Sure, surely you're not saying that, correct? Well, what I, 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 I want you to think I want you to think about that. I can answer that easily. I don't have to think no longer. As I said earlier, I would not deny that black folks have not suffered in this country. We've suffered some horrific things. Um, do racism exist? Of course. Excuse me? You say that past tense. Well, racism still You say has to, but what not covered. You, you said that past tense. Yes. Racism still exists, but for me to think okay. in 
2021 that these things will hold me back because again the law of mentalism whatsoever man think it so it is with him so if I give energy to that in 2021 then of course to me for me it's holding me back for me racism and white but I don't I don't believe in that in 2021 no I don't believe in that no. in this so, day and age so, so let me ask you this question so in, I, I was just on a panel discussion at the black store in Houston where mm -hmm. um, we had one of you all's um, city councilmen at city council persons at large and a state representative in Houston on the panel discussion and the contract procurement um, percentage for qualified African American businesses in the city of Houston with the city of Houston is is 0.5 percent a disparity mm -hmm. study was done and it concluded that that is the uh, percentage that African American businesses get. So, are you telling me that that 0.5% is all because qualified black businesses who have been trying to get contracts with the city of Houston, they're lazy, they're shiftless, they, I mean, they, they don't try to uh, apply to get those contracts. Are, are, are you sitting up telling me that? No, I didn't take any of that. I didn't take anything about anybody's lazy. Those are your words. But there are other factors. I don't know what all the factors are. No, there, 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 are, are, no, there, are, there are no other okay, factors. Okay, 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 okay. Brother Craig. The disparity study, brother, listen to me. The disparity study was conducted. I do this for real. I'm a graduate of Navy University, 1989, Marketing Economics. For any brother or sister, I don't give a damn what your occupation is. For you to sit on this phone and say that racism is not a factor of a legitimate factor in 2021 when the civil rights le legislation was just passed in 1964, the voting rights legislation was just passed in 1965, and housing rights um, legislation was just passed in 1968, and if you go back to um, 1865, the 13th Amendment was just passed in 1865 after over 200 plus years of chattel slavery. So for any brother or sister, just because they may be making a couple of nickels and a dime above a dollar, to believe that white supremacy and racism is not reality, that is a false narrative. And I dare not allow you or any other person to spread that lie, because that is a false well, lie. Brother Craig, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, brother. You can speak for you. You can't stop me from saying or doing whatever I want to say or do. The reason that no, we were, we were, we were, you go back to Black Wall Street, which was somewhere between 50 years, 40 to 50 years out of slavery. We're talking about people that just learned how to read and write, who had a whole community, who had doctors, lawyers, millions. See, that's why I don't buy that crap. Right now in 2021, we don't even have the stipulations that they had back then. This is stuff that's going on between black folks that black folks need to solve within themselves. I don't buy it, and there's no way nobody can make me buy it. And I'm going to spread it. So, so, so let me let me let me break this down because see you're just talking right now. Um, coming out of chattel slavery, there were over 200 black townships created. Uh, now I, I feel them on you know. We didn't have much back then, and we we got a lot, and it's a shame that I believe you know. We can't do the same thing again. I mean, I love to link up with brothers and do some shit, but it's just like. Either the slave, we got us different time and can't hook up at one time and all that. But, you know, we got to put more of a fourth effort. I mean, it can't always be about me, 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 me. We got a generation we need to take care of because look at our men right now. But I feel them on that, though. Do, 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 do. Sorry, y'all. Valerie, 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 Valerie got that killer. Got that killer. Um, by the ingenuity that you're talking about. That did exist. Mm -hmm. Land grant institutions right. 
thing uh, up. That did exist. But what you're not understanding, see, and this is the sad part about our people. You talk in a one-dimensional mindset, and this world is not one-dimensional. You can still have white supremacy and racism and still have some positive success stories. We live in a multi-dimensional reality. So did our people, and my uncle, just so you know this, is one of those people who created over uh, one of the 200 black townships in the United States. His name was Giles D. Moore. He created one of the townships on the outskirts of Shreveport called Moore's Town. Okay? So I'm a part of that legacy. But I dare not sit up just because my uncle did this great thing and, and I piggyback off of our great ancestor, C.C. Antoine, who wrote the charter legislation for the city of Shreveport in 1871. I dare not sit up and say just because they did some exceptional things that white supremacy and racism um, does not exist because they continue to fight against white supremacy and racism. It's not an either or deal. You have to battle white supremacy racism while continuing to forge ahead. Your premise is that if you now speak about white supremacy racism, you're now some kind of way not willing to continue to forge ahead. And that's just not the case. This is a multidimensional reality. Now, I will agree with you that some of these sellout Negro savages use that as a crutch, and they have not even attempted to fight. That, that is absolutely true. But simultaneously, there are brothers and sisters who get their paperwork together, who got their insurances, who are making things happen, and they still, because of white supremacy, racism, nepotism, and cronyism, cannot plug into the systems um, that they are paying into throughout this country. Well, brother, that's your perception. My perception is totally different. And, you know, if I, I never once said racism did not exist. I didn't say that. I said if it is a factor to you that you cannot get ahead because of it, then you have the problem. Oh, my goodness. You just said so. You just said it. But you, you're talking double talk. You're talking double talk. No, no, no. I'm not talking, talking double, double talk, talk at all. I made myself clear from the beginning. I don't take nobody's experiences away from my talk from the beginning. I talked about perception. It's how a person perceives a thing. I already, just, I already broke that down. And if you can take a people who were 50 years removed from slavery and they'd accomplish what they accomplished. If you look at every, look at every major city in, in the United States, every major city, especially Democratic cities, such as uh, uh, Chicago, who's predominantly black. Okay, what's their excuse? Chicago look is at not Detroit, predominantly, predominantly Chicago black. Is, I guess Chicago is not predominantly black. Chicago is the not inner city, black. The inner city, the, the, the area Chicago where we have an issue, inner, the, the inner city area, of the area Chicago where we have is, an issue the area where we it have is the not predominantly black community. Black. Okay, you made your point. Okay, say that. Mind. So I don't, I don't buy that crap. And all these people, especially sitting in Houston, sitting up, all these black folks sitting in mail and voice, that you kind of tell me that the only problem is they can't get it just because of racism. There are other factors to that. Whatever they are, there are other factors to that that need to be looked at and examined. Uh, I'm going to say this, and, and I'm, I'm very clear because now the brother is trying to adjust his position. The reality, I say it again, we live in a multi-dimensional reality. Right, but why is it that you keep kind of changing what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to adjust nothing. I was clear from day no, one. That, that, no, you weren't. I was no, clear you from day one. Yeah. No, what no, I said from the uh, beginning was that we have suffered, and I said racism still exists, but for you to tell me that the only reason no, no, you can't get ahead in 2021 is because of racism. You, you, Something is wrong. No way if I adjust anything that I've said. You didn't hear that come out of my mouth, but I'm, I'm telling you, as it relates to what you initially said, and they can play it back, you did not initially say that. The whole point is we live in a multidimensional reality. You took a one-dimensional approach to it, I take a two-dimensional approach to it, a multi-dimensional approach to it, because yes, you have to be accountable and responsible, but what I told you, simultaneously, white supremacy and racism still exist. And for somebody to tell me that they head up a legal program and would sit on a phone 
and that are on a podcast or any other podcast or a radio show. And you cannot articulate the fact that legal precedent is established by the fabric of the United States Constitution that articulates that we're three-fifths of a person. And you can come to the, to the Dred Scott decision where the Supreme Court of the United States of America articulate that no black person, no African person of African descent would ever be viewed as a citizen in this country. That is a reality. Oh, boy, and that boy. is written into I, I, the fabric I know of this country. I know y'all heard me talk about Period. the Dred Scott thing, right? Y'all, y'all heard that me is, talk about the Dred Scott exactly. thing. Y'all, y'all heard me so talk about the Dred Scott thing. So for somebody to sit up and tell me that they are being a legal, a legal people term makes no sense. Brother, you can try to see. You can try to see. This is this is a democratic move. I don't. We're we're saying now, Warren. You said no, 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 about the no, 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 no. Finish your point yeah, yeah, about I it. Already, saying, I, don't I don't know if he heard. You talking about us? I don't know. If I'm not ready to deal with that Dred Scott issue, and I'll get back to that. But what I don't like, I don't mind debate. Okay, I don't even mind being wrong. I can accept being wrong because that's how iron sharpen iron. Anybody I talk to. We can, we can learn from each other. But when I get with somebody who's constantly trying to throw, you know, trying to destroy my character, I don't have time for that type of conversation. You just your own character. You, you, you just your no, own character. No, no, you the one with anybody do this, anybody. Man, bro, you ain't the one to be talking to. You just your own if character. If you disagree, if you disagree and you want to make your point, make your point. But all this is You destroyed your own you character. That's childish to me, brother. That's very childish. You destroyed your you own know. character with the food and that you made. Yeah, you just start your own care. What are you talking about? You just start your own care. No, you don't want to keep yeah, anybody. I, they they, they got a lost footage. They, they, they this and that. Brother, that ain't even the conversation. Make your point. See, this is what I'm talking about. Me and acting like women point, with any emotion. I didn't know what you were talking about. I made my point. I know exactly what, what I'm talking, talking about. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link in the description box or whatever, man. That's, that's hard. That's hard in the pain. You feel me? But anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified. Peace.